everybody. So I just got back from seeing Avengers Endgame. This is, of course, the 22nd film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the sequel to Avengers Infinity War. And I was kind of mixed on Infinity War. I thought the pacing wasn't great and I didn't love the ending. I thought it was just so manipulative and I didn't think they executed it very well. So I was kind of mixed on that. And so I was uh, a little nervous coming into Avengers Endgame, uh, what they would be able to do, because I knew that the ending of, of Infinity War wasn't the true ending, and so were they going, how are they going to truly end it? And this review is spoiler-free, but it's going to be pretty short, because I think this movie is really hard to talk about without any spoilers. So <laughs> I'll just tell you, I came out of this movie completely blown away. I think that it is much better than Infinity War. I think the pacing is much better. I think the, the way that they closed off these characters' arcs was very satisfying and very well done. I liked how they used all of the side characters I thought were very effectively done. Uh, it... Uh, you felt a sense of closure and a sense of triumph for all the characters that you want to feel triumph for. I thought that the end, the the end victory over Thanos was so smart and brilliantly earned. I think that it had tons of fun time travel elements, and I love time travel movies. I think they are so much fun. There's definitely people that are going to maybe find little plot holes here and there uh, with any time travel movie, but I thought, I felt like it was pretty, pretty well done, pretty well written. I think they closed off most of my questions, at least about the time travel element. They did a really great job of being appropriately somber and making me cry at times, but then also having that uh, little bit of wit and, uh, and, you know, just that love and affection that we have for these characters. I thought that particularly Chris Hemsworth did such a great job with his, uh, with his role in this. It's very different than we have seen Thor before, and I thought he did a great job with that role. I really also loved Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. They did an amazing job as expected. They were it was very well executed, their plan. I thought they did a really good job of executing Captain Marvel's character because I was definitely nervous about that going into it and whether she would be sort of overpowered, but I thought that they used her just in the right way and I was very impressed by that. As far as like some downsides to the film, some people will say that they had fan service in moments that going back to uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I was fine with all of that. I thought that was so well done. I had a big smile on my face whenever there was anything even remotely like that and, and it created some really sweet, really tender moments uh, that worked for me. And there's there was one character and one plot that I, I didn't understand what they were doing with that, but I was still fine with it. It was fine. And so I'm curious to see what happens, but uh, the rest, uh, I just thought each of their plot lines really worked. I really liked black, black widows plot line. It was very good. And I thought that they did a really good job with all of the world building and going back to some places that we know and love and uh, and so maybe some surprises in there as well, which was fun. And I I think if you're gonna maybe some people aside from the fan service scene, you might hear some people complain, particularly about Hulk's uh, special effects weren't the best. But this is a nitpick. I was fine with it. This will be a hard movie if you have not seen these other films. I think particularly Doctor Strange, Avengers: Infinity War, the first Avengers film, Guardians of the Galaxy and Thor 2. I think those are the, the ones that you for sure need to have seen in order to understand this movie. So uh, that I would really recommend uh, and maybe watching them before you go see it. So I hope that uh, gives you an idea. I just loved it. I can't wait to see it again. And particularly, like I said, the pacing was so great. I did not feel like this was a three hour movie at all. I can't wait to see it again. So there you go. Yay. I think I give it a a 9.5 out of 10. I was really impressed with it. I just had so much fun with it. And so let me know what you think. If you get to see it, please keep it spoiler free in the comments. And thanks so much. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.